right now we are uh, removing the carburetor on a Baja 90 in order to clean it out. The first thing we're going to want to do is pull the spark plug uh, so make sure that the four-wheeler is uh, turned off and that the key's out. So you'll take this, pull this out of the tab, and then you can unplug this. Most of them will just pull right off. And then you can push that out of the way. We need to undo the uh, air cleaner. And so we'll just take this. So to take the air cleaner off, you'll just pinch this, uh, the tabs on this little ring clamp and then uh, slide this hose off. So we got the air hose off. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is undo uh, this bolt right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that I'm pointing to. Uh, you're gonna undo that bolt and then the same bolt just on the other side of the engine. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is pull this fuel hose off. Uh, so in order to do that, we're gonna need something to clamp it. I'm just gonna use these uh, little clamping pliers uh, and I'll just pinch it. I'll fold it in half right here and then I'll uh, pinch it so that no uh, fuel from the tank leaks out. So we can go ahead and cut the fuel off by twisting that up and then we'll uh, pull this off and then try to plug it as quick as we can. We can go ahead and fold it right there. A little bit of fuel leaked out. Um, it's not the end of the world though. And then we we'll loosen these up. We don't want to clamp it too tight, but just enough to where it's uh, making sure that it's holding it good. You can tighten it if you want to. So now we got that, it's clamped off. The fuel's off, so we should be good. can go ahead and remove this bolt right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. We can remove that bolt right there and then we can take it, uh, pull that off. So I went ahead and pulled uh, this bolt out right here uh, and then this washer, or sorry, this gasket um, will probably fall out, so just make sure you hang on to that because we're going to need to put that back in as well. So once you have that out, you can go ahead and pull this little hose right here out as well. It's just uh, looped through these little clamps right here. So you can just slide it through. slide those things through then you can this should just be hanging on by the throttle cable we'll leave the throttle cable attached um, and just clean it with the throttle cable on 
So I took the carburetor out and I pulled it through the other side um, and just set it and rested it on this wheel. I have like an old t-shirt that I put it on just so I don't get the dirt from the wheel anywhere in the carburetor because we want to make sure that's really clean when we put it back on. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and pull all of these uh, four screws out. Um, and once you do that, I just want to make sure that you're catching whatever uh, gaskets or O-rings or anything that fall out of there. So there will be some leftover fuel, so just make sure that you uh, dispose of that the best way you can. Uh, so the next thing I'll do is I'll pull these two uh, jets out so I can unscrew them and then uh, spray them out with some carburetor cleaner. So this this jet right here uh, is a lot smaller um, and this is the one that will get clogged up really easily uh, so you want to make sure that you clean that out really well you should be able to see uh, a little bit through um, it's a really small hole but if you hold it up to the light you should be able to see through uh, so then what you want to do is just take um, some sort of uh, carburetor cleaner and then just spray all these off uh, try to spray in the jets as well as you can to clear those out uh, from any gunk that could have built up in there And you can take this uh, and make sure you're holding that gasket but spray this out as well So you can just spray that out as best as you can. Um, try to spray around in here and then also spray uh, through that, um, that fuel line uh, connection piece as well.
then once you've sprayed those out pretty well with carburetor cleaner, then we can go ahead and uh, put everything back together. Okay, so once you got this uh, this small jet cleaned out really well, then you can put it back on. You wanna make sure that you can see light through the hole in that jet, uh, because this one will get clogged a lot. Like I used a bunch of carburetor cleaner on here. I took it and ran it under the sink. Um, I even took a little needle and kind of scraped around in there. You don't wanna to push too hard or damage anything, but you can scrape around and try to get gunk out or move gunk around if you need to. Um, if you have carburetor cleaner with a needle or with a uh, one of the little plastic straw things on the end of it, then you can stick it in there uh, and make sure you clean that really good. Once you have that on there uh, tight, then you can go ahead and put the um, the other half of the carburetor back on. Uh, make sure you clean that out really well uh, and make sure that gasket is uh, seated in there correctly. So I actually forgot to put this back on. Um, so you want to make sure that this little hose is attached on uh, to that little piece right there. It'll slide over it and then it'll go, this screw right here will have that one attached to it as well. Once you have those lined up good, you can go ahead and put your four screws back in. So that's on there now. Um, and we should be good to go. We can go ahead and put the uh, gasket back on and then we'll put the two screws back in and uh, put the air cleaner back on and then we should be good to go. So we'll slide the carburetor back through um, right there. We can take this and we will put this back on. Right like that. It will take some uh, wiggling to get it back into the right place. It's a really tight fit.
got that one slid in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide the other bolt in and then try to tighten it in a little bit and then I'll come back and tighten the other one as well. Make sure you have this um, folded up uh, to where it's coming off this side so that we can slide that spark plug cable back on. You don't have to do this one too tight. Um, just make sure that it's tight enough to where that gasket is going to be uh, pressed in good. So now that that's back in there, we can go ahead and take this uh, cable and um, push it back through that little clip. And then we'll take the, um, down here, we'll put the spark plug back in. You wanna make sure it clicks down pretty well or screws on or however it goes on. And then make sure it's pretty snug. Um, like it's not wiggling side to side a whole lot, so it could be on there good. And then we can go ahead and put the air cleaner back on. So I'm actually going to uh, wait to put the air cleaner back on. Um, I'll put it back on after I get it running, but I do want to make sure that I don't need to use any starter fluid just to get it started up. Uh, but that should be it. As long as you have all your bolts back on, um, you can take your gas line right here. So you can take your gas line right here and try to clip it back on. Or you can go ahead and pull the clamp off. Just make sure you keep it folded uh, pretty well. And then it'll go right back on to that uh, little metal piece right there. And then you can slide this little clamp up over the end to hold that gas line on um, and then turn your fuel back on and you should be good to go um, it should go ahead and fill up the bowl uh, like if you look you can kind of see uh, that there's fuel flowing in there now uh, so it should go ahead and fill up the fuel bowl in the carburetor um, and then uh, you should be good to go uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'll post uh, some links in the description to some of the products that I used and to uh, some of these parts as well.